chaos and violence as students and civil servants protest in Peru. Riot police fired water cannons and tear gas on the thousands of demonstrators in downtown Lima as they marched towards the presidential palace, angry at legislation to shake up the public sector and universities. The protesters threw sticks and police beat them up from their horses and walked over people. It's because they came to protest against something important. President Orlando Umala says the new laws will improve the quality of sluggish government services. Critics say it will cost jobs. There are proposals for the reform of universities too, which those opposed say will compromise their independence and increase fees. President Umala, a former military officer, was elected in 2011 as a moderate leftist, but critics say he's since drifted to the right towards privatization. This fight taking place is because of the state, because the state wants to apply laws for privatization. In our case as students, the privatization of the university. There were marches in several other Peruvian cities. They lack the size of recent ones in Chile and Brazil that have defied political leaders, but they could expose President Humala to renewed criticism after several months of relative calm. Denise Hammack, BBC News.